In this video we will look at our own solar system and specifically the savings that uh, we have generated uh, with this system. And it's quite interesting to see because we have made some changes. So in this video, video we'll go through the system since the start and we'll look specifically at the savings from the last year. So this was how what the system looked like looked like in uh, the beginning three years ago and then uh, we slowly added to it and in the beginning we used this inverter it's a good way three phase uh, five kilowatt inverter for three phase uh, this is pretty much the smallest you can have i don't think there's any inverter that's like three kilowatt for a three phase so you can't get much smaller than this but you have to start somewhere <laughs> And uh, this is a picture from the installation. And the first year we had savings of, well, what was it, 35,000 baht, something like that. And then last year we expanded to this system, a battery system, Alpha ESS T10, three phase, with 10,000 watts uh, on the UPS. Very powerful system. And then we added uh, 10 panels to reach a total of 26 panels. So what we have had the last year is what we call a small 10 kilowatt system because you could actually add another eight to 10 panels to this system and we might do that this year. But the reason why we haven't done it yet is because uh, the roof that you see in this picture is now actually full. We have put the, the extra panels down here filled up over here so there's no more room so and we here up here we ha actually have foam under the roof so this is very difficult to use because you, you can't loosen the tiles without breaking them so we are looking to use a carport or a building that we have on the other side uh, but uh, we have to make those roofs ready they are not ready yet so we have to do some preparations before we can expand so that's why the system we have had the last year has been a, what we call a small 10 kilowatt system uh, so let's look at uh, some more details here um, so we have a little bit of the history what happened and then the new system last year and then we can see that because obviously we got the system in the summer so when we say the last year we mean from about first july last last year until first july this year but let's take a look at this first six months first and then the interesting thing is that there's major differences between autumn and spring spring 23 and in thailand that's quite obvious why there's a big difference there because in the autumn we have the rain season uh, so that you will see when we look at the details it actually makes a big difference uh, from the savings but of course in the rain season you use less air condition and less power so it follows uh, the production in the system and the expenses for uh, electricity follows each other so in that sense it's all good you know but uh, that's why you see a lot lower production here in the autumn compared to what you'll see later in the spring. Okay, so the important number here is 5,770. That's a little bit lower also than compared to what it could be because the extra 10 pounds we put on, we did not put on until August. So that's uh, another factor here. But if we divide by number of days, we get to 32 kilowatt hours per day obviously there's huge variation um, this is just an average but averages are important so we'll keep that in mind also our kilowatt hour price is about 5.3 5.4 uh, it was all the way up to 5.5 in april may um, and that's because of the fuel tariff the ft that's what's uh, causing the variation in price um, 
obviously that's a lot higher than uh, the year before so everybody has seen a huge increase in price about 20 25 percent um, so that means that for q3 and q4 2022 we are looking at the saving of 30,581 and then we'll go to this year or this calendar year and look from January to July 8,241 remember now that we have two differences we have the weather and we have that it's six months with 26 panels while up here we have only five months with 26 panels but there's still a big difference and the difference is uh, is the weather and uh, much more sunshine so divide this by 180 we get to 45.8 kilowatt hours per day um, and then q1 and q2 overall 43,677 and then if we look at the total for our last year from 1st July last year to 1st July this year total savings 74,258 6188 per month it's pretty much what we would expect and in accordance with uh, all the other calculations and reviews we have done of other systems it's what you would expect from a small 10 kilowatt system uh, so let's take a look at our total savings obviously here we had a smaller system and the third year we got the 10 kilowatt so our total now is up to 144,000 in total savings so uh, overall i'm very happy with this of course i think anybody would be and the number of days that the system has been down is i think total from the beginning maybe three days 